technology is always improving. Scientists and researchers are experimenting with technology more than ever. What this means is that we are making breakthroughs in different departments, and one of these is that of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience. This means that repetitive actions will be picked up much quicker. This is why researchers have come forward and said that certain jobs will be lost to artificial intelligence, especially those that require repetitive movements. Various experiments have been announced over the years, with some questioning whether we should be playing around with things like AI. For example, it was announced not too long ago that Facebook was using chatbots. The reason this made the news was because the AI chatbots did something unexpected. Although the bots were given specific scripts to use, they seemingly began communicating with one another in their own language. Humans were unable to understand communication between the chatbots, or grasp how it was developed with no human input. This information is kinda scary but yet impressive, as it speaks to where we stand with artificial intelligence, and what it's capable of. Again though, this calls some to question whether we're out of our depths when it comes to AI, and whether we should be experimenting with it. In 2018, Harvard scientists hooked a monkey's brain up to a neural network. At first, people questioned why they'd want to do this, but the researchers said they did it to try and simulate individual neurons. The neurons in question are responsible for recognising different patterns and phases, and the scientists attempted to activate those particular neurons by showing the monkey's images created by this deep learning artificial intelligence. One of the monkeys they tried this on was Ringo, and the Harvard scientists said that different photographs were shown to the monkeys, and these were created by an artificial intelligence algorithm called Xtreme. Before people get worried though, Ringo wasn't tied up or in any pain when this experiment was taking place. In fact, the scientist said he was very comfortable throughout the whole thing, and actually sat in the Harvard lab sipping an orange juice. While the monkey was happy enjoying his juice, the researchers flickered images in front of his eyes. The AI system quickly learned to generate images which would trigger individual brain cells. Incredibly, this was done without activating any of their neighbours. The AI system did do this until it got a response from the neurons, and what's incredible though is that the artificial intelligence was able to trigger the neurons in the monkey's brain to create images that resembled faces. The whole idea behind this was to see if this technology could allow us to ask the neurons what they wanted to see. This is uncharted territory and further tests will need to be carried out. Interestingly, this isn't the only test that's linking artificial intelligence and brains. Elon Musk has detailed more about his Neuralink. It's his recent vision that involves AI brain chips. The company was first set up back in 2018, and as stated on their website, they plan on developing ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. Elon has even gone as far as saying that this technology could even treat brain injury and trauma. While on the Joe Rogan podcast, he went into more detail about the company and what they plan on doing. Elon said the following, There's still a lot of work to do, but I think we're looking at within a year. I think we have a chance of putting input in one end, having them be healthy and restoring some functionality that they've lost. This isn't science fiction either. The company has brought on various high-profile neuroscientists from top universities. By mid-2019, the company has over $158 million in backing. Some have found it interesting that Elon has gone down this path. After all, he's been very vocal about the dangers of AI, and even suggested that in time artificial intelligence could take over. He warned people about superintelligence, a form of artificial intelligence that's way smarter than us humans. He stated that this AI could create an immortal dictator, his worry is that the development of superintelligence could end up in the form of AI that governs the whole world. Elon said the following, There are many outcomes, but one of the least scary ones is if we had a company or small group of people that manages this superintelligence. This type of technology could take over the world. 
He went on to say the following. At least when there's an evil dictator, that human is going to pass away. But for an AI, there would be no death. It would live forever and then you have an immortal dictator from which we can never escape. That sounds worrying and rightly so. Elon isn't trying to scare people, but is trying to make them understand what implications artificial intelligence could have on the world. Currently, we use AI for everything, and he says it won't be long before it's controlling us completely. Early AI work has allowed us to be where we are today, and it seems that we're not slowing down. Elon has also stated that he thinks the human race will be overtaken by artificial intelligence by 2030 or 2040. That doesn't seem too bad, but in reality it only gives us 10 years. This study has said that machines could outperform humans in all tasks within 45 years. The stats were gathered from a survey of more than 350 artificial intelligence researchers. However, the study says that within seven years computers will be better at translating languages, and by 2026 they could be writing our school essays. Another worry is the manipulation of information. Algorithms could be used to affect certain information. Because AI is good at repeating, it could report negative news on certain businesses or individuals. The future of artificial intelligence is uncertain, but researchers have said that people should get used to the idea of robots and AI, and it seems they will be very much a part of our future. Every year researchers and scientists are making breakthroughs that hopefully will allow humans and machines to live side by side. There are those that have warned us about testing with AI though, and that it easily has the capabilities to outsmart humans, demonstrated when the two AIs created its own language to get past humans. It's examples like this that have made some people worried, but researchers have said that as of right now, the majority of testing is under control. Only time will tell whether we made the right decision to continue experimenting. So what do you make of artificial intelligence and the fact that it's become a part of our everyday life? Also, would you guys have one of these implantable brain-machine interfaces? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.